All right, folks, imagine a world where the tech giants you thought were untouchable. ASML and TSM Care suddenly outpaced. Not by some minor player, but by a company everyone had written off. A company many thought was done for. A company that's made its way out of the rubble and is now kicking down the door. Huawei. Yeah, you heard me right. Huawei. The Chinese underdog that's been dealing with US sanctions since 2020, the company that was supposed to fade into oblivion. But instead, they've done the impossible. They've pulled off a move so bold, so unexpected, that it's rewriting the entire rulebook of the semiconductor world. This is not just a comeback. This is a seismic shift in the game. Now, I know you're wondering how this happened. What tech did they unveil? What does this mean for the future of technology? You've got to stick around because this story is way more insane than you think, and it's only just beginning. Hey, tech enthusiasts, welcome to Ave World, where we dive deep into the innovations that are shaping the world. If you're as blown away as I am by this plot twist, hit that like button right now. It helps us get this video in front of more curious minds like yours. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a single update. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. And if you've got friends who love tech, share this video with them. Because what I'm about to explain is going to change the way you look at the semiconductor industry and the entire global tech landscape. Let's set the stage. For years, ASML and TSMC have been the undisputed kings of the semiconductor world. ASML, the Dutch Titan, makes those mind-blowingly precise, extreme ultraviolet EUV machines. These machines etch the tiniest, most intricate circuits onto chips with insane precision allowing chip makers to create processors smaller than 7 nanometers. And then you've got TSMC, the Taiwanese powerhouse, which uses these machines to manufacture the cutting-edge processors that power everything from Apple iPhones to NVIDIA GPUs. Together, they've had an iron grip on the world of advanced chip making. And the West? Well, they've relied on ASML and TSMC to maintain their tech edge, particularly when it comes to competing with China. But here's the kicker, Huawei, the company that was supposed to be dead in the water, the company that was blacklisted, cut off from TSMC's foundries, and denied access to ASML's UV technology. The global semiconductor industry's gold standard for making chips smaller than 7 nanometers? Completely off limits. This hit Huawei hard. Their smartphone business took a nosedive. But rather than folding, they doubled down on their own capabilities. Huawei partnered with SMIC China's largest foundry and started working on their own semiconductor technology from the ground up. They didn't take the easy route. They didn't just try to scramble for the scraps left by the West. They went all in on self-reliance. And the West? Well, they laughed. SMIC was years behind, stuck on older deep ultraviolet, DUV, technology nothing compared to the EUV tech that ASML was using. People in the West thought SMIC could never catch up. But that's where they were wrong. By late 2024, Huawei and SMIC had started dropping some serious hints. The Mate 70 series launched with a 7 nanometer chip that made waves not because it was groundbreaking on its own, but because it was made without EUV technology. Then came the Ascend 910C, an AI chipset designed to rival NVIDIA's best. Analysts took it apart, trying to figure out how they did it. And then they found it. Huawei and SMIC had optimized the DUV process to achieve near negative 3 nanometer precision, without any need for EUV. This wasn't a workaround. This was a leap. And now, the rumors are swirling. Huawei is preparing to release a 3 nanometer chip, completely independent of any Western technology. If that's true, this is a massive blow to ASML's monopoly and TSMC's dominance. How did they do it? Well, let me break it down for you. It's not magic. It's physics. And it's a whole lot of money. The Chinese government poured billions into SMIC and Huawei, betting on the idea of self-reliance. They poached top-tier talent, reverse-engineered what they could, and pushed DUV to its absolute limits. The result? They found a way to do what many thought was impossible creating advanced chips without the need for ASML's $380 million EUV machines. And it's working. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. By 2025, SMIC's fabs are reportedly churning out chips at a pace that has TSMC sweating. Huawei is moving fast, and they're not just playing catch-up. They've got a vision. They're aiming to leave everyone behind phones, data centers, self-driving cars, 
military tech, you name it. And here's kicker, with no strings attached. Huawei is free to sell to anyone, anywhere. The US export rules don't apply to them anymore. So what does this mean for ASML and TSMC? Well, ASML is in trouble. Without their EUV monopoly, they're just another expensive option. And it's not just Huawei that's gunning for them. Companies like Japan's Canon and Nikon are already sniffing around with cheaper DUV upgrades, but Huawei is already ahead of them. And don't forget about SMIC. They're still the king of volume, but their $100 billion Arizona expansion deal in March 2025 only ties them closer to Washington's influence. Meanwhile, Huawei is making chips at an unparalleled pace with complete independence. They're fast, they're scaling, and they control everything from raw materials to finished chips. Now, let's talk about the geopolitical impact. If Huawei continues to rise, we could see countries like Russia, Iran, and even India begin to pivot away from Western tech and adopt Huawei's chips instead. That could have major global consequences. Economically? Well, Huawei's approach has the potential to democratize technology, cheaper chips could mean more affordable tech for everyone. Imagine AI-powered devices in every home. The possibilities are huge. But of course, there's a catch. If Huawei becomes too dominant, there are concerns about data security. The US might double down on sanctions, potentially leading to a full-on tech war. That's the risk of having one player control the entire tech ecosystem. Huawei's rise is all about speed, scale, and sovereignty. They're building a tech fortress no one can touch. SMIC and TSMC rely on a complex global supply chain. Huawei? They've gone local and vertical. They control the entire stack, and they're doing it faster. TSMC takes three years to build a fab. Huawei and SMIC are cranking out chips in 18 months. And the bottom line? It's simple. By 2027, Huawei could be powering half of the world's AI with chips that rival, and possibly even surpass, anything the West has. They don't need EUV. They don't need TSMC. They're self-reliant, fast, and they're setting the pace for the industry. This isn't just a new player on the scene. This is a game changer. The entire tech world is about to be reshaped. And here's the big question. What happens next? Will the West double down with more sanctions? Or will they step up their innovation game? Will Huawei dominate? Or will the old guard claw back some ground? The future is uncertain. But one thing's for sure. Huawei's gamble has paid off, and the tech world will never be the same. So, what do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What's the next big move? Do you think Huawei can keep their edge? And how will the West respond? Let me know if you want a deeper dive into Huawei's tech, or maybe TSMC's counterattack. Whatever you're curious about, I'm here to dig in. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and share this with the world. This is just the beginning. Stay curious, tech fam. I'll see you in the next one.